Hi students, so this is your Pawan sir, uh, lecturer in Mathematics, BVS, Arts, Science, Commerce, Independent, PU College, Vidagiri, Bagalkut. Clear? So, this is my first class to you all. After the bridge course, in bridge course I have taken the classes but no problem. After the bridge course, this is my first class with your subject and with your syllabus. In the bridge course what we have done, we have done some particular topics which will help us in our particular syllabus. Okay. So, now we will talk about the East class in the bridge course. Syllabus ge upayoga aguantaha kelsagalana madidivi. Yen of the upayoga aguanta kelsagalu some uh, basic topics. Yodo and some basic topics and other gondo we have studied, which we are going to take the help in our particular syllabus. Clear? Okay, students. So now I am going to start your second chapter that is relations and functions. Please listen again. I am going to start relations and functions. That is the second chapter of your 11th class mathematics. Okay. So, now you have to the chapter that is relations and functions. And start That is of your 11th class mathematics. Okay. So, let us start relations and functions. Okay, students. So, the conveying of the subject will be in two languages that is both Kannada and English. Don't worry. Because there are some students from Kannada medium so that they can also understand my first topic which I am teaching relations and functions. So, my conveying topics will be in both Kannada as well as English. So, even now relations functions and start Martha Devi. So, relations functions and start Martha Ginta Munche. You must know some topics, relations and functions and start madaginta munche. You must know some particular things. And readina start madaginta munche. So, I'll put nimke mahiti irbeku. Yadar mahiti irbeku. Some previous uh, basics. Clear? Okay. That are set. That means you must know what is set. Set andre yen vanta nimu guttir beku. Second thing. Subset that means what is subset you must know subset and re yen on again nim go through it next power set so power set and re yen on time get go through it so each after the start morning in time to get sets subsets and power set but get idea here be clear so before starting this particular chapter, I am going to talk about set, subset and power set. Clear? So, set means collection of well-defined objects. What is set? Collection of well-defined objects. What is set? Collection of well-defined objects. Then what is subset? Subset means if A is a set, if A is a set, B is called, B is called subset, B is called subset of A, B is called subset of A if every element if every element of a is sorry if every element of b is in a so please understand this set is very simple that is collection of well defined objects clear that means set means collection of well defined objects okay so next what is subset subset means see a is already a set that means if a is a set b is called subset of a b is called subset of a if every element of b is in a clear see here a is set i want to say b is subset of a a is already set 
I want to say B is subset of A. If I want to say B is a subset of A, there is a condition that is every element of B. The notation of this means every element of B must be must be in A. Clear? If B is a subset of A, the meaning of that is every element if every element of b must be in a clear so iga yen andre illi for example set anta nimage artha aitu set andre yeno collection of well defined objects adu nimage artha aitu no problem iga nimage yen artha aagbeku b that is subset clear subset andre yenu anta nimage artha aagbeku subset andre nimage yen anta artha aagbeku andre you have to understand some logic on this logic new artha madkobeku what is that logic see here if i want to call if i want to call nanu b na a ge subset anta tagobeku andre b na a ge subset anta tagobeku andre b dalli iruvanta ella elements u a dalli irbeku are you getting my point see here b na nanu a ge subset anta karibeku andre b dalli iruvanta ella elements u a dalli irbeku I think you need an example. So I will give you an example. See here. A is containing 1, 2, 3 and 4. I will define A is containing 1, 2, 3, 4. A dali naal ke element idha. Yavdu 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 4, 4. Clear. So A dali e naal ke element idha vay. So E naal ke element indha nanu subset na define maartin. A ge subset na define maartin. Yavar iti define maartin e see here. B is equal to 1 comma 2. Now I can call B is a subset of A. Iga nano B na subset of A anta karibodu. Arthaita. Why? A has 4 elements. B has 2 elements. A dali naal ke element da vay. B dali erad element da vay. Arthaita. So B dali ero anta yalla elements hu A dali already da vay. Arthaita enre. So that is B dali 1 comma 2. These two things are already present in A. I think you are getting my point. So, B dalli ronta yalla elements hu A dalli irodhinda. I can say that B is an a subset of A. Are you clear? So, by getting an idea of set, that is set containing these four elements, set B containing two elements, B is an a subset of A. Now, I will write one more set, that is C. Uh, 5 comma 6. See the li enen idave elements. Aidu mataru. That is 5 and 6. See the li 5 and 6 idave. Arthai tenre. So see the li 5 and 6 idaga. If I want to call C as in a subset of A, can I call C as in a subset of A? Even on a C na subset of A and the Kariboda? No. Why? Because 5 and 6 are not present in A. C na na yake subset in the Kariya Kagarila and the Andre. C dali ironta elements hu, A dali illa. Arthaita, C dali ironta elements hu, A dali illa. Hanga agi na no, C na not subset of A anta kariti ni. C na not subset of A anta kariti ni. Arthaita, clear? So, B is in a subset of A, but C is not in a subset of A. Because every element of B is present in A, the elements of C is not in A. Clear? So, from this a simple example i think you got an idea of set you got an idea of subset nan iga ankantini yen anta ankantini andre nimge set andre yenu subset andre yenu anta artha aitu anta ankondidini suppose if you are not understanding that particular topic please message me on whatsapp or comment in comment box so that whenever i come in the next class i can explain again clear okay Iga set andre yen on the artha itu, subset andre yen on the artha itu. Now let us go for power set. Power set anta andre, iga on the set a irate. A set a ge iro on the subsets gana collect marbe. Are you getting my point? The collection of all subsets of given set. Please understand this. Collection of all subsets of given set is called power set collection of all subsets of given set 
is called power set clear students so these all basic things you need before i start my chapter that is relations and functions okay first thing set next thing subset next thing power set what is the definition of set collection of well defined objects clear what is subset if b is a subset of a every element of b is in a clear what is third power set power set means collection of all the subsets of given set is called power set clear students so these three definitions you must know before i start this chapter so make a notes of this particular three things with definition see set i have written here subset i have written here power set i have explained power set means what collection of collection of all subsets of given set please make a notes of this because these things are not going to be included with your relations and functions chapter clear so that's why you have to make a notes of these three things before you start relations and functions write the heading relations and functions below that you write all these three definitions in your notes clear okay now i will start my a uh, chapter of your uh, mathematics 11th class that is second chapter relations and functions okay okay students so ivaga nimgella artha aitu yen artha aitu relation function chapter na start madaginta munche namgella yen guttirbeku that you have understood clear so before starting relations and functions what all things we must know that we all have understood what all we th- what all things we must know first thing we must know set set andre yenu anta guttirbeku second thing we must know what is subset subset andre yenu anta guttirbeku third thing power set power set andre yenu anta namage guttirbeku clear so i have explained all three things now i will move towards relations and functions topic okay my dear students before i start this chapter i will give you one suggestion whenever you are studying mathematics please don't by heart artha aita eno andre mathematics anna kalibekadre yavde reetiyada by heart anno shabdana balisabardu balisabardu andre adanna neevu maadbardu yake because mathematics is a subject which involves problems that you have to solve are you getting my point here problem to problem the things are going to change problem din da problem ge neevu hodange logics u change aagta hogta irtave artha aita so adakke mathematics alli baruvanta definitions anna please don't by heart by heart maadbardu andre yen maadbeku adralli iruvanta logics anna artha maadkobeku that is what important in mathematics are you getting my point yavde reetiyada definition anna please don't by heart please understand the logic behind that particular definition are you getting my point students so this is very very important clear okay so now i will start <coughs> relations and functions in this relations and functions you are going to study about see first one cartesian product cartesian product second thing you are going to study about relations and next thing about functions these three things you are going to study in relations and functions clear i will define what is cartesian product and i will solve problems on cartesian product i will define relations and i will solve problems on relations i will define functions and i will solve problems on functions if i do these three things my chapter is over clear so you must have an idea before you are going to study any topic what you are going to study there andre 
ನೀವು ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ನ ಕಲಿಯೋಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಮುಂಚೆ ಆ ಚಾಪ್ಟರಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಏನು ಕಲಿತಾ ಇದ್ದೀರಿ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನು ನೀವು ಮೊದಲೇ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿರಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಅಂದ ನೀವು ಕಾರ್ಟೀಷಿಯನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಏನು ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಬರುವಂಥ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಯಾವುದು ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಏನು ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಬರುವಂಥ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಏನು ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಏನು ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಬರುವಂಥ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಏನು ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೂ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಓವರ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಟೀಷಿಯನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಅಂದರೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಕಾರ್ಟೀಷಿಯನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಏನು ಅಂತ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿರಬೇಕು ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಿರಬೇಕು ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆನಾ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇಂಟರ್ ಲಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಅಂಡ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಟೀಷನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ನೋ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದೋಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮೋರ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಆರ್ ಮೋರ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೋರ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಟಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದೋಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇವಾಗ ಕಾರ್ಟೀಷಿಯನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟನ್ನು ಡಿಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಆರ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಡಿಫೈನಿಂಗ್ ಕಾರ್ಟೀಷಿಯನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಟೀಷಿಯನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟನ್ನು ಡಿಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಮುಂಚೆ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಸಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಕಾರ್ಟೀಷಿಯನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಒನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಒನ್ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸೆಟ್ ಎ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸೆಟ್ ಎ ವಿತ್ ಒನ್ ಕಾಮ ಟೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸೆಟ್ ಬಿ ವಿತ್ ಎ ಕಾಮ ಬಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ನಾವು ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಅ ಕಾರ್ಟೀಷಿಯನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಅ ಕಾರ್ಟೀಷಿಯನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆನಾ ಈಗ ನಾನು ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಎ ಮತ್ತು ಸೆಟ್ ಬಿನ ತಗೊಂಡು ಕಾರ್ಟೀಷಿಯನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟನ್ನು ಡಿಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಡಿಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಬಿ ವಿ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ರೀಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಬಿ ಇದನ್ನು ಎ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಬಿ ಅಂತಾನೆ ಓದಬೇಕು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಇನ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಎ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಬಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಟೀಷಿಯನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ರೀಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಬಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಎ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಮೇಕ್ ಅ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಬಿ ನಾವು ಐ ಟೇಕ್ ಟು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಓವರ್ ವಿತ್ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಟು ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ವಿತ್ ಎ ಟು ವಿತ್ ಬಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಆಫ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕಾರ್ಟೀಷಿಯನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಟೀಷಿಯನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಚೂಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ತಗೊಂಡು ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುವಂಥ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಒನ್ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಸೆಟ್ ಬಿದಲ್ಲಿ 
ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗಬೇಕು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಒನ್ನನ್ನು ತೊಗೊಂಡು ಬಿದಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುವಂಥ ಎ ಮತ್ತು ಬಿಗೆ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಪೇರ್ಸ್ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ಟೂನ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ಬಿದಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುವಂಥ ಎ ಮತ್ತು ಬಿಗೆ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಪೇರ್ಸ್ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ದೇರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಾರ್ಟಿಷನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಓವರ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಲೆಟರ್ ಸಿ ಸಮ್ ಮೋರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ನೊಂದಿಷ್ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸನ್ನು ತೊಗೊಂಡು ಲಾಜಿಕನ್ನು ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನನ್ನು ಡಿಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನಾವಿಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫೈನಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಕಾರ್ಟಿಷನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಡಿಫೈನಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಕಾರ್ಟಿಷನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸಾಲ್ವಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ಕಾರ್ಟಿಷನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಇವಾಗ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಎ ಆಸ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬ್ಲೂ ಸೆಟ್ ಡಿ ಆಸ್ ಬಿ ಕಾಮ ಸಿ ಕಾಮ ಎಸ್ ಬಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಗ್ ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಗ್ C is coat and S is shirt. Clear? B, C, S means what? B is bag, C is coat, S is shirt. Okay. So I have taken two sets. I will define Cartesian product or I will solve Cartesian product. Clear? So Cartesian product, I will define Cartesian product. What we have to do in Cartesian product? We will write a Cartesian product as A cross B plus B cross C. We have to do in Cartesian product. We will write a Cartesian product as A cross B. and in this a cross b what we write we write an order pair how we are going to write our first order pair now first order pair na yav rite barithivi a cross b dalle illi iruvanta first element yavud red next b dalli iruvanta first element yavud b that is red comma b next en madbeku second order pair how to write second order pair second order pair na yav rite barivebeku see again red next thing is what c red c clear second order pair is over next we have to write third order pair how to write third order pair see this red element is yes red comma yes clear now i will go for next because red with all these three elements three order pairs over clear next i will go for blue blue first element is what b blue comma b next order pair blue comma c next order pair blue comma s blue comma yes so here your cartesian product is over clear students so from this i think you have understood what is cartesian product what is the meaning of cartesian product if i see this as two sets where set a is containing red and blue two colors b is containing three objects what are those three objects bag coat shirt a dali ed color we have b dali we have three objects b dali namge enide three objects ide what are those three objects bag coat and shirt clear so a matte b set anna thagondu i am defining a cross b yav rite define madbeku first element with all these three you should write three order pairs second element with all these three you should write three order pairs artha aithe andre first element jothege ee moru elements anna order pairs dalli barebeku second element anna thagondu second element jothege ee moru elements anna order pair dalli barebeku order pair andre enu two elements in bracket a comma b is called order pair clear so order pair dali barebeku artha aitha aa rithi niu baradre that is what your cartesian product i think you have understood the logic behind cartesian product clear so relations is nothing but you are studying the pattern this is one pattern of writing the sets a and b what is the pattern here with red you write all these three as order pair that is one pattern what is second order second pattern with blue you write all three objects that is your second pattern artha aitha so aa rithi niu baradre that is what is called as cartesian product are you clear so from this we shall continue with this cartesian product topic i think this example you all have understood clear if you don't understand these two examples please message me or comment me in comment box are you clear students that is very important very important thing is in this class in this class very important thing is you must know what is set 
you must know what is subset you must know what is power set as i explained all these three definitions should be in your notes next i have given two examples what are the two examples this is second example that is set a is red comma blue set b is b comma c you are defining cartesian product this is second example what was my first example a set with 1 comma 2 b set with a comma b and defined a cross b this was my second example clear i think you have understood these two examples if you have not understood again i will explain see here there will be two sets a and b you have to choose the first element by choosing the first element in the order pair you have to write all these three elements red comma b red comma c red comma s now red is over go for blue blue comma b blue comma c blue comma s clear so you can read it as red bag red coat red shirt blue bag blue coat blue shirt because b means bag c means coat yes means shirt this is what the example of cartesian product okay okay students now we have seen two examples of cartesian product and we have already seen uh, that means ನಾವೀಗ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಏನು ನೋಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಎರಡು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸನ್ನು ನೋಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಎರಡರ ಮೇಲೆ ಕಾರ್ಟೀಷಿಯನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ನಾವು ಎರಡು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸನ್ನು ನೋಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಒಂದರಲ್ಲಿ ಎ ಸೆಟ್ಟನ್ನು ಒನ್ ಕಮಾ ಟು ಮತ್ತು ಬಿ ಸೆಟ್ಟನ್ನು ಎ ಕಮಾ ಬಿ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಫೈಂಡ್ ಎ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಬಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲಲ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಎ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಕಲರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ಲೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೆಡ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನದರ್ ಸೆಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿ ಕಮಾ ಸಿ ಕಮಾ ಎಸ್ ಆ ಸೆಟ್ಸನ್ನು ತೊಗೊಂಡು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಫೈಂಡ್ cartesian product clear by taking all those elements or all those examples now i will define cartesian product see here cartesian product means the cartesian product p cross q is the cartesian product p cross q is the set of the set of all order pairs set of all order pairs of elements from of elements from p and q of elements from p and q where p cross q equal to set of order pair p comma q such that small p belongs to capital p small q belongs to capital q clear students so see here again i will go to the example of a was red and blue b was b comma c comma s clear see this definition the cartesian product p cross q here we have defined with a and b no problem a and b a cross b we can take so a cross b that is cartesian product p cross q here what cartesian product a cross b is equal to is the set of what is the set of all order pairs is the set of all order pairs ಅಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾರ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಏನು ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಪೇರ್ಸ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಪಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವೇನಂತ ತೊಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ನೋ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಪಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೋ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆದರೆ ಪಿ ಎಂತ ಕ್ಯೂ ಅಂತಾನೆ ತೊಗೊಳ್ಳಿ ನೋ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊ p mathe q p and q that is elements from p and q so again i am understand i am explaining that see here the cartesian product p cross q is the cartesian product p cross q equal to the set of the set of all order pairs all order pairs of elements from p and q the elements from p and q that is red from p from q b next red here c next red here yes clear next red is over go for blue blue b first element is b next blue c next blue yes 
clear students so this is what your cartesian product clear so this is how we define cartesian product here you can define sets as a and b also p and q also we de it depends on problem clear so now i think you have understood this particular definition please make a notes of this the cartesian product p cross q equal to and this example already i have explained no problem so you make a notes of that clear i will send you a pdf copy of what i am teaching in relations and functions but you also again write a notes of my class clear okay you can pause the video and you can write the notes okay so now i think the cartesian product is clear to all of you what is the logic behind cartesian product cartesian product hindgade iruvanta logic eno eradu set anna kottirtare a eradu set alli iruvanta elements anna ondondagi order pair form dalli barebeku ondondagi order pair form dalli barebeku yav rithi order pair form dalli barebeku first red thagondre red jothege moru elements red b one order pair red c second order pair red s third order pair blue b first order pair blue c second order pair blue s yes, third order pair that you have to make in p cross q then it is called as cartesian product see this is important if anybody ask what is cartesian product you just write this more than enough clear if someone asks you to write in english you write in english no problem the cartesian product p cross q is the set of all order pairs the set of all order pairs of elements from p and q otherwise you write this no problem if you write this then also you will get one mark if you write this then also you will get one mark this is one mark question define cartesian product clear better is you write this clear p cross q equal to set of order pairs p comma q such that p belongs to p q belongs to q if you write this much this is called as cartesian product clear students so i will give you one homework problem so all of you make that homework take a photo of that and if possible try to whatsapp me okay take down the homework example okay students you take this as a homework problem that is set a equal to dl that means a vehicle passing dl means delhi mp means madhya pradesh ka means karnataka clear so delhi mp karnataka madhya pradesh karnataka dl is one word this is 0 1 one element 0 2 second element 0 3 third element mp second element ka third ka third element clear so here a cross b you have to write for example the first element will be see here the first element will be a cross b equal to first element dl comma 0 1 so you try to write the next elements of a cross b clear so this will be the homework